let's get this show on the road. Oh, well, everyone, I promised I would uh, play some monkey soccer with you guys today. So, I used to play this a lot as a child. I am not going to lie. And no, this is not a separate game of its own. This is actually a uh, mini game on the game Ape Escape 2 for the PS2. So, and uh, this always felt like a different game every time I played it. So, there are six rounds um, with, with uh, six different teams. The first three teams are going to be fairly easy, and um, then it's going to get a bit more challenging uh, later on. So, and this is my starting lineup here. Um, I guess I'll do it as they do it on TV. So, in goalkeeping, we have Lee. Defense, we have Sphinx. On the left wing, we have Manuel. On the right wing, we have Emma. And at striker, we have Kai. So, and if I, uh, it'll also tell you the uh, stats of um, the monkeys and their capabilities and such on the uh, left hand side there. Of course, uh, red being like the best, means that they're uh, more than capable of <laughs> what you need them to do. So for keeping, basically, uh, you need catching and strength, really. For defense, you need strength and uh, sliding. Um, but other than that, let's go ahead and just get into it. And of course, it, uh, you have your four face buttons. R1 is to excel. And yeah, the ball will change. Wow, <laughs> already got a goal. I did practice uh, through this beforehand and test it out, so. Oh. All right, let's see here. Give it to Emma. I could, I should explain the balls, different, uh, the uh, different type of soccer balls that you can use in this game. Uh, we have our traditional one, of course. Uh, we also have a bomb one that I just scored with that will blow up and uh, stun the monkey on whoever is unlucky enough to be closest to it. All right, am I going to go over there? Then we have this two ball, which is worth two points. And this three ball that I am not a fan of. <laughs> it is super light and I could never score with this thing, so. Oh, and this is actually my favorite the spike ball. Good older key. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, if your bungee has strong enough strike power, it can stun the, uh, the walk in. <laughs> If your monkey has strong enough strike power, it can uh, knock out the, um, the keeper. Oh, and this is one thing that, oh, I, okay, never mind. I'll get a shot. Oh, no. That's the vitamin C bananas in the game where uh, they're off of a, um, the bosses are in this game are fed to fight you with and such to make them stronger. But that's a discussion for another time. The vitamin C bananas and monkey soccer, however, have uh give you capabilities. <laughs> this old guy got in the way. They yeah, but just make you faster and make your strike power faster, so they make you overpowered as as it gets, so but that for a short while though, so we'll make the best of it as you uh, try to get the ball in the back of the net. Or in this case, it's more of a cage, really. Ah, oh, I missed it. <laughs> oh, and uh, shoot, you have to use, you have to angle the the right analog stick on the control pad here. It's very awkward at first, and it made things get used to. Because uh, that's pretty much what you use. Uh, to use your items in this game. Wow, I'm not down two players. Ah, dang it. All right, 
We're almost at halftime here. Got two in the lead. I feel like I was trying to go some with something somewhere. Hold on. Sorry, I got I'm too caught up in the game. <laughs> you tricked by the keeper there. I feel like the the opponents are um, automatically like um I, like their stats are already pretty high. I feel like they are. But the game is set on uh, like an easy mode, I guess, automatically. But it just depends on who you uh, put your team. And how well you defend and such. This was my default team when I first picked up the game again, too, due to its uh, their stats and such. So it was, um, come on, Kai, you're up, you're up front. There we go. Blasted in. Also, I might put this in two uh, parts as well. Wow, what a goal by Kai. So the first part, I'm probably gonna, well, it depends on how we put it, how the video goes here. Um, for now on, I'll, I'll be sure not to say what my plans are in the videos. It's not really needed. <laughs> there we go, now we're running away with it. But yeah, the first three teams are pretty easy. They all have their own distinct uh, personality traits as well of uh, the teams that it's kind of like the monkeys do and throughout the game. You could say I'm, uh, I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of, oh, I missed it. <laughs> uh, not a, I would say I like the Apescape games. Uh, I do own all three of them. Oh. I feel like Apescape 2 was the one I liked the most. But it's all perspective, really. Like what you're looking for. Ah, okay. Don't expect your defenders to score too much. Ah. So, this game, or this mini game, always felt like its own separate game. Reminds me of Super Mario Strikers a little bit, which uh, I do plan on uh, doing a video of. Uh, oh, I'll score there. I plan on doing a video of uh, a Mario Strikers Charge for the Nintendo Wii someday. So do expect that. All right. There's one way I love to do here. Oh, I can't do it. If you if you get close enough to the uh, goal line there. Uh, you can just uh, tap it in there. It's 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 pretty it's borderline broken. But if the game allows us to do it, then so be it. In soccer, you gotta do whatever it takes to put the ball in the back of the net. And uh, this monkey here, Emma, she has a really good uh, acceleration and strike power. Which makes her uh, pretty good. Uh, put uh, on the wing, in my opinion. And if you guys, uh, if anyone else has ever played Monkey Soccer or loved this mini game, uh, feel free to chime in and say who um, your team consists of and whoever, um, yeah, your memories, I guess. Who are the keeper? Well, all my monkeys have stored now. At least once. Except for the keeper, which, of course, they never leave their post, so they do their job. Well, looks like we're going up 7 0. But don't think uh, this is um, how it's going to end, or uh, how it's going to be throughout the entire tournament.
Also, I would like to mention that uh, if you follow European soccer, uh, the season's about to end here, and uh, I will be uploading this on the day of the Premier League's, the English Premier League's uh, final day. I'm not sure if it's for every league, so yeah, I'm going to keep my team. I thought it'd be very fitting to upload it on this day. I kind of noticed that um, right before I started recording here, I was like, "Oh yeah, the the, the league is or the league season's about to end." Oh, thank you. Uh, I try to shoot it quickly. It, it won't work. And uh, yes, I do. Uh, well, I should say I do, and I always have played soccer. Um, it's been my second love, pretty much, outside of gaming. I do follow it professionally, and uh, I've always I have played it mostly in my youth, though. Of course, everywhere you go, there's also adult leagues that you can sign up for, and of course, uh, play the game that you solely enjoy. So, of course, a lot of uh, Video games are soccer based, so how fitting. Ow. There we go. It's a good shot from Manuel. I wish they had in this uh, feature is uh, replays. Uh oh, it's on the breakaway. Okay, here we go. Good defense by Manuel. Been our top player of the tournament so far. Ah. Nice speed to get back in the defense or not. And, uh,. In case anyone's wondering who hasn't played Apescape, yes, these are the monkeys that you catch throughout the game. Oh, okay. Go for it. You can also hit the ball when it's in midair like that if you angle the um, control stick the right way. Oh, shoot. I'll just get it out of there. Ah, oh, he, he beat me to it. Knocks out his own player. Like, uh, like, why do people buy FIFA games like every year? Those people that buy it every year or PES, whatever you prefer, it, um, if you're a huge fan of Saga, you're oh, that was a nice you're gonna want to um, buy every year if you follow the game, especially because uh, it updates transfers and player stats and stuff like that. If you're not a fan of it, then I, I, I wouldn't blame you for not buying it every year. If you're a fan, I wouldn't be surprised. So, for me, I, I try to buy it every year. Ah, oh, I tried. Alright, so far so good. Here we have uh, ninjas, <laughs> which is uh, that ninja hideout uh, level for most of these, or most of them come from. Uh, you can only use these um, monkeys that uh, you troll or use on your team if you catch them. You can't, uh, that's the only way you'll be able to add them to your team, really, which makes sense. And uh, I have completed the game, so I have all the monkeys, so I'm able to choose whoever at my disposal. <laughs> it 
hit the post. Doesn't Trying to get it there. Sphinx is not very fast, but he uh, makes up for it in strength and defending. And your opponents here are not from the are not much you can catch. These are just uh, for strictly just for this game. So there's also a uh, jungle climber game. Uh, there's also a a uh, kind of like a bongo kind of game. I want to say like a DK tumblebee kind of style. Sort of style, I guess you'd say. I, I can't say I know for sure. And I did not know about Monkey Song here until later in this, until I actually unlocked it in this game. I was like, wait, what? Oh, this sounds fun. So, and I just fell in love with it. Oh, that shot. It is also two player. Uh, I don't have anybody to play with. It is what it is. I have played with friends before in the past with this, so. Alright, off to the brakes. However, playing a friend of mine on uh... oh, nice goal! I was playing a friend of mine the other day, actually, on uh, some FIFA the other day. That, that was really fun. I told him I was like, "Hey, let's uh, let's rotate our uh, squads around to uh, whatever we use on career mode." So um, I do a lot of teams in career mode, really. From uh, okay, that was a good goal. I'm on fire now. I do. A, I, I actually use a lot of teams. It's, it's hard to say, but my primary team is to, for each club, really, or like each game. I do have a favorite team, however, uh, professionally. Um, I have to go with Manchester United. I've been a fan of them since uh, 2007. They were actually the first soccer team I ever saw on TV, so, and I've spelled ever since. Sure, things aren't really the same as they used to be. Oh. Can you get the hat trick? Oh, no, I, I ran out of time. Here. I'll try to see if I can get a hat trick quickly. Okay, I'll Keeper can't pick it up outside of his uh, area there.
expected it to soon. Yeah, I'm getting a little greedy here. I tried dribbling around him. <laughs> Being a ball hog here. Of course, uh, you never want to exactly do that. Uh-oh. Defend the uh, near post here at all times. Which it broke in, uh, in the actual saga too. Oh no. So one thing I've noticed in uh, this too, we're always attacking the right hand uh, goal here. Nice, got another goal. And your opponents are always attacking the left. seen 15 before, so it, it might have been bigger than that. If you have a really overpowered team like I do, then it's easier, way easier than that. But uh, our next opponents are going to be much, much harder. Because this is round three. There are six rounds. benefit of the vitamin C bananas. I don't think they have a sword yet. There we go. <laughs> we got her. We got her on the sword sheet now. We 
We are not lighting up. And we only had uh, two goals in the first half, so. And uh, in case anyone's wondering if there's any other sports I'm really interested in. Um, I also follow a little bit of NBA as well. So, those are always a... Uh, I will admit I've uh, kind of slacked off though. It's it's super hard because I also try to watch NHL too, uh, hockey. But um, they're all in the same season. Ah, shoot. Nope. First speaks. Pick up Emma. video we'll uh, continue on with the tournament here for uh, part two so it's gonna get more challenging up ahead so stay tuned